So this uh, <clears throat> is a factory rebuilt um, Classic Omega and there's an alignment problem. As you can see, I'll lower another notch actually. You can see on that left side there, gosh I wish it was a little better to see but that's the best I can do. There, you can really see it there. But we're almost touching back here. Actually, it is in the very back. And then we get over here, and there's quite a gap. So, um, <clears throat> you know, anytime, you know, castings are replaced, like, for instance, I think this one probably had this, ca this motor casting replaced. It may have had the fan case uh, replaced, I'm not sure. But I've noticed this quite frequently when, you know, when a Kirby no longer has its original casting, this problem seems to be, well, quite common, to be honest. And you really don't notice it that much. It was just, uh, I've got real low pile carpet in the shop here, and uh, it was kind of arcing off to the right just slightly, and I was... That's what made me uh, curious, and and I've seen this happen before, and uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, actually what I've noticed is my fingernail stops right here. So the fan case seems to be mounted up just a little bit too much. Um, I tried to uh, move it down, but there's not enough you know, movement, you know, you loosen all the screws and, you know, I was hoping for enough play to kind of adjust it, but it won't, it won't, it's as far down as it'll go, so I'm going to try a different fan case. If that doesn't work, then I'm assuming the problem is in the motor casting, which is this part right here. It goes all the way around, and what I'll probably have to do is you know hog out all these screw holes just bore them out a little bit bigger and that'll give me just enough movement in the screws to hopefully fix this issue because this is one super nice machine um i mean i've always wanted an omega and i finally found this one and everything is great the motor runs like new the fan, I'll probably change that while I'm in there. Um, it's got the old gray fan on it, and it does have a little bit of stress cracking starting to happen. Uh, just from age. I mean, this was rebuilt back in 91, and I don't think it was used much. I did replace this sticker and this sticker, and I polished it, you know, with some mother's polish. But, um... So it wasn't quite this this minty when I got it, but it was it wasn't bad at all. It was a nice machine. I did put new wheels on it, um, but it, it's just a sharp looking machine, and it and I want it right, you know. And that that those little things drive me insane. You know, when you look and and you can see that that difference there on that that side. Let me see if I can. Okay, there, now that it's flat, it kind of pushed itself down on that side. But, but again, there's quite a gap difference if you really look here. And it's not the plate. It's not the rug plate. I've checked that. Uh, I've checked the, the nozzle lock. The pin that goes in, it's all nice and even and correct so there's no problems there it's just it's got to be that fan case so I'm gonna or the motor casting so I'll check into that and we'll update thanks for watching